Hello and welcome to the original Sengoku Basara, and you can see straight from the title screen that Yukimura and Masamune got way a higher priority than anyone else. We're going to be playing as Masamune for this demonstration of the original game, because who else would we be playing as? The first thing you'll notice about Masamune is that his basic attack isn't quite as wide, far-reaching, or flashy as all the other protagonists. It's mostly good for clearing a path through enemies, but he has a special attack that fixes this. War Dance. When we use War Dance, he takes out all six swords simultaneously, and his basic attack gets a massive upgrade, allowing him to hit many more enemies at once, and getting a massive damage boost in the process. The only downside to using War Dance is that you can no longer block, but that's an incredibly small downside. Since War Dance makes a severe change to Masamune's basic attacking mechanics, it is the final special move you unlock. Before you get it, War Dance only activates after you use your Basara meter. And that version of War Dance disappears quickly, but when you've unlocked War Dance as a permanent special attack, you can just keep all six swords out as long as you like. You can technically keep yourself in War Dance mode the entire stage, but if you try to use your Basara meter, or you try to use another special attack, or you get hit, you will break out of War Dance mode. Of course, there's nothing stopping you from going straight back into War Dance mode. Because unlike our Basara move, this one, normal special attacks don't cost any kind of currency. We can just use our special attacks as much as we like. You may have noticed we managed 200 hits there, but the game didn't really shout any sort of special commemorative You did great, you got 200 hits at us, unlike in Devil Kings. That's another reason I think Devil Kings gameplay is more satisfying. If you get a 100 or 200 hit combo, they let you know. They shout double or triple at you really loudly. Getting relatively high combos is still possible in this game, but because there are no priming attacks, it is a lot more difficult. That's not to say the game still isn't satisfying, but if you could imagine what you're seeing right now, but also Masamune had the extra ability to shoot lightning whenever he felt like it, that's the Devil King's version of Masamune, so there's no reason to prefer this version. Like, yeah, sure, I could play the original Sengoku Basara and have a good time killing hundreds of men and making big combos happen and watching all the health bars go down, or... I could turn their health bars yellow using a lightning and then do that. It seems like a no-brainer to me. Like, just in general, if you have the capacity to weaken your enemies by hitting them with magical anime character lightning, why wouldn't you do that? And I have the option to do that, I own the original Devil Kings, you just saw me playing it. But the reason we're playing the original, uh, untranslated Sengoku Basara is just so you can see what it's like, and the answer is it's still pretty good, it's just a little bit more boring because you can't use, you know, priming attacks, which is very important. If you're wondering why the footage looks so great compared to the Devil King's footage, that's because this is on the HD collection, this is from the Sengoku Basara HD collection, which collects the original Sengoku Basara and Sengoku Basara 2 and Sengoku Basara 2 Heroes. Of the three, Sengoku Basara 2 Heroes is definitely my favorite. It's really not even a contest. And while I think Devil Kings is a better game than the original Sengoku Basara, Sengoku Basara 2 Heroes is by far a better game than Devil Kings. Sengoku Basara 2 Heroes just adds so much more nuance to the special attacks that it makes up for any lack of priming attacks. That's not to say the game doesn't have priming attacks, because some of the special attacks are actually still priming attacks. I believe it's the only other game in the series with priming attacks besides Devil Kings. But the stuff the later Sengoku Basara games pull, they make priming attacks look like absolutely nothing. So if you ever hear me saying Devil Kings is better than Sengoku Basara, keep in mind I'm saying Devil Kings is better than the original Sengoku Basara, and if you have the chance to play any of the later Sengoku Basara games, you should go do that. Preferably, you should play Sengoku Basara 3, which was localized as Sengoku Basara Samurai Heroes, but any of the later games will do. I still think it's really easy to see the appeal of these games, even ones as simple as the original Sengoku Basara. Sure, Devil Kings may do it more satisfying, but if you had to come home and play the original Sengoku Basara instead of Devil Kings, I don't think that'd be the world's greatest disappointment. 
It can seem a little limp compared to newer Musou games, and especially newer games in the Sengoku Basara series. But it's still satisfying to destroy so many people at once. So I mentioned that after we use our Basara attack, we briefly gain War Dance mode immediately after. While we're in War Dance mode after using our Basara attack, we can still gain more Basara meter to use for another Basara attack, meaning we can essentially chain Basara attacks right into each other. It's very difficult to get a string going that lasts for a too long, unless you're fighting a very powerful enemy. So yeah, the voice acting in the original Sengoku Basara was just as absurd and over the top. Don't let anyone tell you it wasn't. This game was always crazy and stupid. Devil Kings is slightly crazier and stupider in some great ways. But it's still definitely on brand for the Sengoku Basara license. So as we approach Itsuki up here, you'll notice she's surrounded by these large men with hammers, and they can make the fight with her really difficult if we let them stay around while we battle her. So we're instead going to lure them away from her and take them out separately, just so we can have her all to ourselves. That will make the fight much simpler. She also has a single commander standing around her, so we're going to lure him out as well. No problem. It's not like anyone stands a chance against us. So Itsuki has a big ol' ice hammer, but in spite of that, she actually moves pretty fast, even with the ice hammer. She's capable of throwing the ice hammer and instead using closer range melee attacks, which stunlock us very easily, but we have a much further reach than she does when she throws her hammer away. Her hammer will always come back to her eventually, though. We're going to avoid using War Dance during this fight, because we'll easily get knocked out of it, and the time it takes to activate War Dance will allow her to hit us. Besides, Masamune's unaltered basic attack is really good for hitting single enemies, as you're seeing. It's much better than trying to attack crowds with it. We also have Magnum Step, which is a really powerful dashing move that should not be underestimated. You can break almost every enemy out of their attack with it, and it has such a range on it that it's unlikely that their attacks will hit you while you're using it. We're gonna pull War Dance back out because Itsuki is defeated for now, and we have a whole lot of regular dudes to fuck up. Magnum Step is also capable of stunning, I believe, every character in the game. Maybe not Nobunaga Oda during your final confrontation with him, but I think it's capable of stunning every other character in the game, which is going to be very important to remember for later. It's a very powerful, if unassuming, move. It just appears to be a regular charging attack at first, but... It has so much more capacity to be great. Here I try to take out four commanders at once, but I only succeed in getting most of them. Unless you count the war dance at the end of the Basara as part of the Basara, then yes, I got them all in one go. So this level's gimmick, we didn't really get a chance to talk about it, but this level's gimmick is that whenever you see a bunch of harsh snowy wind blast across the screen, that means you're about to be ambushed by a sudden onslaught of forces from both in front and behind you. It's a really cute visual effect, and it's really awesome to see all these soldiers appear out of thin air immediately after the snow disperses. But it basically just amounts to giving you more targets. I still really like when games, you know, blend their mechanics with in-universe reasoning like that. You could just have the ambush appear for no reason, but this battle takes place in the middle of a blizzard, and Itsuki is really used to the harsh climate. So she's using the blizzard as a tactical advantage to make ambushes appear while we can't see what the hell's going on, like this. See, a whole bunch of men just appeared because the screen was being flooded with ice clouds. It's not a whole lot, but it's certainly more than that fog of war that... Talon pulled out on us in Devil Kings. So you may have noticed that Masamune's special attack names are in English. 
And that's just part of his character. He says random words in English, mostly swears. Every time he swears, he does so in English. And I can't tell if that's because they genuinely thought that was cool, or if it was meant to make fun of people who think English words in random places is cool. I really can't tell. Because this is Sengoku Basare, it could be either. But either way, it does add a lot to his character that he starts cursing in English and most of his attack names are in English. My favorite thing he says is holy shit, and he pronounces it perfectly. So good on him, because I imagine holy shit is very difficult to pronounce if you don't speak English. Just as before, there are a whole bunch of men with hammers around Itsuki, so we're gonna get rid of them before we do anything else. So I do hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the original Sengoku Basara, just in case you were curious what it was like, what the differences were between the two games. And the answer is that Devil Kings is basically an expansion pack, where they get a whole bunch of new attacks. Or at least an expansion pack where 12 of them get new attacks, but not the other four. But still, that's a pretty good deal. After we take care of Itsuki, though, we do have one last bit of business to finish up, and you'll see what I mean when we get there. So in several Musou games, there's one powerful character that you're meant to either cower away from or at least see as a serious threat, in stark contrast to all the other characters. Dynasty Warriors has Lu Bu, Samurai Warriors has Tadakatsu Honda, and this being a parody of Samurai Warriors, it also has Tadakatsu Honda, but Sengoku Basara's take on Tadakatsu Honda is special. And he's not meant to be challenging and fearsome so much as he's meant to be completely unfair bullshit, and we're gonna wreck his ass. Let's 
Yeah, so that fight is complete nonsense. You saw how quickly he was annihilating me. But we did it. We killed his ass. We killed his ass good. So that was Sengoku Basara and Devil Kings. I hope you enjoyed the Let's Play. I had a good time showing off Devil Kings. I'll see you guys next time.